the 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 Hololens. Go check it. Go check it. Go check it. Let's go check it out. There's got to be a better way. What is up guys, Alex here with the Hollow Herald and today we're going to be going over how to pair your Xbox controller to the HoloLens. And we're going to be splitting it into three different sections based on the various generations of Xbox controller. So let's go check it out. First we're going to be going over the Xbox 360 controller. I think it's very impressive that the HoloLens is still able to connect to the Xbox 360 controller even though it's such an, uh, well, relatively old piece of technology basically. It's just a teensy bit more complicated. First off, the most important thing is you have to download what is called a client server. And the one that we really like, it costs about five bucks, it is very effective, is, is posted down in the description below. So if you're interested, you can definitely look into that. But basically what a client server does is you, it allows you to connect your Xbox 360 controller to your computer, and then your computer to the HoloLens. So it's kind of a roundabout way to get the connection, however it still works. Um, the lag isn't too bad, and definitely functional. Option number two would be an Xbox One controller, generation two and below. Now the same applies with the Xbox 360 controller. You still have to download the client server. Um, what were we gonna say here? And option number three. This is definitely our favorite one. However, it's the most expensive at the same time. Using an Xbox One S controller. Now with the Xbox One S controller, it allows you to pair your uh, Xbox One controller to the HoloLens via Bluetooth. And it's super simple. All you have to do is turn on the HoloLens, go into settings and devices, and then turn your Bluetooth pairing to on. And then all you have to do is just press this button like you would trying to pair it to any regular Xbox One, and then it'll show up. The Xbox One controller will show up in the heads up display on your HoloLens. And just like that, you're in business and ready to go. There's no need to download some client server. However, you know, if you don't already have one of these, like I said, the Xbox One S is the model that works only via Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So if you don't have it, you would have to go to the store and buy it. They range from about $50 to $70. However, if you want to just literally just kind of plug in and play, it's the easiest way to pair. Now you might be wondering, I have an Xbox One controller. Can I pair it via Bluetooth? Now there is kind of one major detail that's very hard to discern, however very, very essential to see if it is Bluetooth compatible. Now if your controller has that little line right there. It's not that seamless color change like this one. Notice how this is all blue. There's no shift there. This means it's the newer model and it's possible. However, with this, it feels like, you know, just kind of an add-on. Someone snapped this part around that button. It's kind of a different shade of black. That means it's one of the older ones and you're gonna have to go to the store and get an Xbox One S controller. All right, there you go, guys. Now, we really wanted to do this video because we've noticed as time goes on that more and more applications and games are applying the Xbox controller. And so we figured, you know, more and more people are gonna wanna know. So uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have a better way or if you know of a different way. You know, give us feedback, comment down below, and share this video. You know, show people what the Hollands can really do. And also like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Take care.